Lucane was quite worried about your safety and flashes a relieved smile when he sees you return. You give him the two black runestones you found. Nobody should be able to enter the illusionary lands now. You tell Lucane that you didn't find the dragon's crown and what the spirit told you about the ancient dragon. There are many legends about the ancient dragon, but no one knows any specifics. Lucane suggests seeking a specialist. Lucane has an old friend who once researched the ancient dragons. He currently lives as a hermit in the Lost Woods. They had a falling out long ago, and they are not on good terms. It seems you'll have to see him in Lucane's stead. He owes a debt to the late king. He is hard-headed, but he honors his debts. Lucane writes a letter to the castle. First, you must go to the castle and ask King Dean to write an official letter asking for the hermit's cooperation. Oh. How can I help you? You must ask King Dean to write a formal letter asking the hermit to cooperate with your mission. You request an audience with King Dean. However, an anxious looking Princess Vivian appears instead. Upon inheriting the throne, Dean left the castle with some subordinates and hasn't returned. You brush it aside, reasoning that Dean must have some sort of plan. You assuage the princess's worry. She asks why you're here, and you tell her you need a letter to take to the hermit. She drafts a royal request for you. Vivian gives you a letter asking for the hermit's aid. You must go into the Lost Woods and learn about the ancient dragon. The Adventurer's Guild has forbidden the use of the gate, and the ruins are sealed. You should ask Samuel what happened. The Adventurer's Guild has forbidden the use of the gate, and the ruins are sealed. You should ask Samuel what happened. You ask the Guildmaster why the magic gate on the outskirts of town has been sealed off. Samuel says the gate had become unstable and it was impossible to know where you'd end up, so he had it sealed. Perhaps the gate's appearance was a side effect of Mornian's gate rune usage. It may be tied to the crumbled rune stone, but you have no choice. You tell Samuel that you'll accept the risk and coerce him into allowing you to use the gate. Samuel relents but also suggests going to the stable and renting a horse as an alternative. You can travel by horse or magic. However, the gate will now drop you at a random location, unlike before. Hmm, you're back. You venture into the Lost Woods to ask the Hermit about the ancient dragon. The Lost Woods are so vast and similar looking that you quickly lose track of where you are. 
It is said that only the hermit who lives here actually knows the way out of this forest. Sensing a presence, you turn around. You see a man standing upon a rock. He immediately shouts, I don't want trouble! When you hand him the letter and explain your purpose, he grins confidently. He says the ancient dragon can't be revived. The ancient dragon sleeps in the illusionary lands as a fossil. It's impossible to go there, much less awaken the dragon. He tosses you several tomes and tells you to read them if you want to learn. Then he points to the path exiting the forest. You take a boat across the underground lake as the hermit advances. This seems like the safest way to leave the lost woods.
If your boat is caught by a whirlpool, it will be destroyed. Avoid the whirlpools at all costs. A gazer's main eye can nullify your magic effects. Beware.
you were able to defeat the extra-dimensional magical being known as a gazer. It dawns upon you that this is no safe route. In fact, this is likely the most dangerous route. You brought back the tomes on the ancient dragon that the hermit threw your way. The books you borrowed from the hermit are packed with research about the ancient dragon. Have Lucane look at them. Immediately, you and Lucane pour through the books on the ancient dragon. It is tough reading. Lucane summarizes for you. The illusionary lands are a great land where the ancient dragon is sealed, along with Alicia's fortress. It is an immortal dragon, born alongside the deities. The goddess fossilized it and made it sleep for time indefinite. All the tomes seem to corroborate that general idea, but a particular line in one of the books jumps out at you. When the current Elysian king is sacrificed, the spell will be broken and the ancient dragon will rise from its slumber. The memory of your meeting with the late king pops into your mind. He spoke of preventing himself from being sacrificed. King Dean's safety does not appear to be a given anymore. You speed to the castle, hoping against hope that he's there. Oh, how can I help you? Frantically, your mind offers myriad silent prayers to any deity you've ever heard of. You rush to meet King Dean. Once again, only the princess appears before you. Vivian seems to have been waiting for you. She shows you a letter. I write this letter in the event something untoward transpires. The letter begins. You begin bracing for the worst. Dean's letter continues. I'm departing for a liaison with representatives of Morneon to obtain the dragon's crown. Hydland is in grave peril, and though I've reservations, I've accepted Morneon's terms to serve the greater good. You now know the sum of all your fears has been realized. Morneon lured him to the illusionary lands and sacrificed him. A spark of hope arises. The illusionary lands have been sealed off. Perhaps the dragon won't be a threat to the realm. Unfortunately, Lucane immediately extinguishes your spark of hope. He opens a dusty volume and directs you to a passage. The ancient dragon will gradually regain its strength. When at full strength, it will have dominion over all magic. This includes the rune magic that holds it prisoner. There's no escaping it. The ancient dragon threatens all life. It's only a matter of time before the ancient dragon regains its strength and can leave the illusionary lands. The ancient dragon must be stopped before it regains its strength. However, the dragon is nigh invulnerable now. Lucane points to an image in the book and tells you to look for talismans. They will weaken the dragon's defenses. The Elysian king received these nine gems from the goddess Althena. The nine talismans are scattered throughout the world. Only the strongest and the most diligent will find them. You must go to each area and overcome a difficult trial to collect the talismans. You need the nine talismans to defeat the ancient dragon. Samuel says that he needs to talk to you. 
as an experienced adventurer, he wishes to impart some advice to you. He says you must be prepared for anything in battle, so he used to keep a variety of weapons for each situation. He gives you a pack so you can organize yourself. You can equip the pack's contents during your adventure. If you feel like you require more organization, you can purchase more packs from Morgan's shop. Hmm, you're back. You have a request. <laughs>